and welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Uh, today we will be making a farmhouse fall wreath. Um, the sign is a sign that is hand painted uh, by my beautiful daughter Casey and uh, this is her sign, Welcome Fall. And uh, I have picked a real pretty little uh, farmhouse um, oh, I guess farmhouse just style to go with. We're going to be using a, um, let's see, it's a fabric mesh. The new, uh, this is actually the, I think it's the thin stripe fabric mesh. And it's uh, beige and olive green and red. And then I'm also going to be adding some um, uh, little rolls in here just to give it a little bit more pop of color. Hey, Mimi, how are you this morning? Good to see this afternoon, I cannot keep my days and nights straight. This is this afternoon. How you doing? All right, let me just pull this up here and so I can keep up with comments. Hopefully today I'm on the right page. I think the last time I went live, I accidentally went live on uh, Val's Crafty Pals. So, yay, I see I'm in the right spot today. Uh, hi, Kim. Hey, Debbie. I know Casey does so good on her signs. Uh, of course, now Casey should be on here moderating. Hey, Suzette, how are you? Um, so there she is. There's my beautiful girl. Hey, Christelle, girl, I haven't seen you in a long time. Okay, so again, it's kind of that rustic fall look um, that I really wanted. When I saw a sign similar to this, I just knew I had to get Casey to make it for me. Um, I've had it in my basket ready to make for quite a while. But, you know, uh, with the summer and got busy, I hadn't been doing the lives as good as I was. But I'm back to do that uh, every Sunday again at 2. And then next Sunday at 2, I have a real cute Christmas kit uh, that I purchased from my friend CC, And uh, I will be doing hers next week in a pancake wreath. Hey, Tammy. How are you? Hey, Connie. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Good to see you guys. Okay, so if any of y'all watched my pumpkin, um, I did it again yesterday uh, in, on the live, and I didn't finish it up on the live, so I finished it up um, today. So this was the pumpkin with the mustard color yarn, and uh, I think it turned out really good, too. I was real pleased with these. These have been a lot of fun. So I have ordered some more of the pumpkin frames so if any of you guys are having a hard time finding them um just let me know and i'll be more than happy to share okay so we can get started i've already done a bunch you guys and i'm so sorry but i was hoping we could decorate it today and i really want to add in these fall magnolia leaves because i thought these were so pretty i got these at trendy tree uh, it was another garland, because you guys know how I love to take a garland and uh, go crazy with it. So, if you would, I would really appreciate it if you would like and share. Uh, I thank y'all so much. And I'm going to go ahead and pan down, and hopefully I don't have my camera squeaking too bad today. See if we can go down nice and smooth. Um, okay, so here we go. Let me lay this sign aside. Um, we're doing the Woodland Ruffle today, one of my favorites, uh, favorite uh, uh, methods, I guess, when you have this, uh, this fabric mesh because you cannot wood burn this and you cannot, um, I can't use the impulse sealer on it, so it does have a tendency to fray. Hey, Twyla, so um, I've cut these strips at 34 inches and we are going to put uh, a woodland ruffle in every tie and of course you guys see that I've already gotten a big head start on it um, so anyway we won't have that long to go around and then we can actually do some decorating on it so when I do a woodland ruffle I make three to four hello Biff how are you it's good to see you um, I'll turn you'll turn it with your curl side up uh, and then just make a roll so curl it maybe two to three times and then just ruffle right up the center and then this gives you the benefit of having rolls and ruffles in one swift step so uh, I love I love this method especially like I said you know if it's gonna uh, ravel and I see a strand right here so let me just cut it 
it really does help at least keep those exposed edges um, under. And then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to show you my ribbons. Uh, the ribbons that I'm using today have all been cut at 12 inches and I have already dovetailed them. Uh, if any of y'all have any questions in, about dovetailing, uh, let me know. I know most of you are crafters and you know, but I also know there are some new crafters out there um, that may not be quite sure how uh, to, to do dovetails. So here's the ribbons that I have paired up. Uh, I think I use this in just about every one of my uh, fall wreaths. And I think I might be. Does that look okay, guys? Are you getting a good look? I feel like I'm a little bit there. Maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, so I have the green, and I'm pairing it with, uh, this is kind of a burgundy and natural and orange uh, stripe. I thought that was really pretty. And then I have got the little red truck with the little white pumpkins in there. And I'm pairing it up with this real pretty uh, plaid. Uh, this is a blue and cream. I just thought that was beautiful. It's also in the bow. So, um, yeah, if you guys please like and share. If we're almost at 40, if we get to 50 today, I will come up with a giveaway. Um, and and <laughs> I will also pay shipping on that giveaway. So, uh, please like and share. I really appreciate that very much. Um, you're so proud of the two wreaths you have from you. Thank you, Karen. I know I appreciate that so much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my ribbons in as I'm putting in my uh, ruffles just so we can, you know, get save a step and I'm not going around it twice. So I just fold them in half and then scrunch up the middle and then lay them right in my ties. Uh, I do normally cut my ties. Now, these are real pretty, so I'm not sure yet if I'm going to cut them uh, in case there might be something else I want to add to it, so I'm not going to do that right now. All, all of my ribbons today came from Craft Outlet. Everything I'm using today came from Craft Outlet except, from, uh, except for the sign, of course. That was Casey's. Hey, Flo. Hey, Peggy. Ooh, I think we're going to have a getaway. Hey, Kara, a getaway, a giveaway. I still have this set that I was trying to give to y'all a couple weeks ago. And thank you for letting me have last Sunday off, guys. This is Casey's hand-painted buffalo check uh, mason jar and the roll of ribbon that goes with it. So if we get up to 50, I'm going to give this one away. And this will be for a real, make for a real cute uh, little farmhouse wreath, a Christmas wreath. So that is our giveaway. Thank you for sharing, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these ribbons in. I've not done a lot of farmhouse. Uh, Kara, I know you do a lot of fair house, uh, farmhouse. But the more I do it, the more I really like it. Um, I think I've always done more farmhouse of the, you know, Christmas um, than I have uh, fall. But uh, when I came across those magnolia leaves, I just thought these would look beautiful with these colors today. So, um, yeah, Casey, is she's quite my little artist. Uh, I, I, I'm just so proud of her, and she's so good to her mama because she comes in here and she... Uh, paint signs for me, and then she, uh, of course, moderates too, so I'm so proud of her. Yes, thank you. Y'all continue to like and share. I really do appreciate it. Hey there, everybody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in and uh, load up my ribbons, and now Casey will be um, sharing my links. Uh, this wreath is already for sale in my Etsy shop. I listed it this morning. Of course, now it just has the picture of what I am making, but it's already in my shop. And uh, also, she'll be listing, uh, link, putting my links for my YouTube channel uh, also. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel. If you would pop over after this live and please subscribe. 
Hey, Kara, good to see you. Hey, thank y'all for sprinkling. There we go. Let's get these numbers up on this Sunday afternoon. Um, so let's see. We don't have a lot of this left to do because I've already made one bow, but I was thinking we might pop in a little, um, oh, it just left me the name of the bow, um, funky bow, funky bow. We might add two. So we'll see how it's going to look, and we might pop in another little bow. Uh, so, Kara, are you about to get all settled uh, now that you're finally moved again? I know that's been so hard for you to have to keep moving. Um, I can't imagine having to move twice in the, in the same year, let alone six months. All right, so again, for the woodland ruffle, you just want to have your curl side up and then make about three rolls and then turn it around and I just hold it with a chip clip because that makes it easier for me and then make about three curls on the other end and then just ruffle straight up the center and that gives you the woodland ruffle thank you Tammy I do too I love these colors uh, of course I love fall colors fall is uh, one of my favorite seasons, I think. And it's probably everybody's. I bet we're all ready for a little bit of fall right now. Um, I know it's been so hot here, and it's just, you know, like Kara said, the humidity is just a killer when you live in the South, uh, especially. Um, so I am ready for some fall. You're getting there? Yeah, getting your craft room organized. Good luck with that. <laughs> I keep trying to get mine organized and then I go shopping and then it's a mess again. Uh, so yeah, you like watching me make bows? Good, 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 good. I'm, I think the uh, funky bow is really fun to do. Uh, I know that it's probably a little bit more whimsical, but I think as long as we have the right ribbons, it would work in a farmhouse. Um, so, you know, that makes me fun. I think they're fun to do. Uh, all right, so again, I'm just rolling three times on one end, put it in my chip clip, and then we're going to roll three times on the other end. So one, two, three here, and then ruffle. I know, I know. Uh, I keep telling my husband we might need a bigger house before long if I don't slow down because it's just uh, exploding. <laughs> it's exploding everywhere. Uh, I got a few shelves so I could get a little bit more organized and now those shelves are packed and full and I have stuff all over the place. So, you know, I, I guess we're going to all be ready for the busy season because uh, with Christmas coming, it's going to get real busy here soon. So, um, how many of y'all like the, uh, you may want this one too, Karen. Don't y'all love this little truck ribbon? I just think that is so adorable. Uh, you know, Karen, you could always put one on the back door and one on the front door. Hey, Kim, how are you? Good to see you. Y'all, thank you for coming in today. I do appreciate it very, very much. And thank you for all those likes and hearts. Um, now, what I will do is once I know that my design is complete, uh, I will actually come back and I will trim all of these ties just so I'm sure that these ties won't snag uh, anything on the mesh and this is going to be a very big and full wreath um, I love this new fabric check me mesh uh, it has so much body so um, I really am enjoying this I think I was looking at my supplies today and I have bought a lot of it too so um, hey Kim how are you um, I'm also working on another Christmas kit uh, I sold my last Christmas kit yesterday, and this one will be whimsical, uh, since the other one was more of the farmhouse style. It will be elves, and uh, so that one, I think I may do it on uh, the live first. I'm not sure which way it works, and then put out the kits, or put out the kits and then do it on the live. I I'm never quite sure which direction is the best. What, what do you guys think? Is it better to see it first and then be able to order the kit or is it better to um, see the kits uh, what size frame is this Debbie this is a 15 inch uh, work frame 
and of course it's going to be very full because the woodland ruffle um is uh you know it's such a nice you know technique to use it gives such good coverage Alrighty, and so like I said, I am going to put a couple of little rolls in it just to pop a tiny little bit more color. So uh, that was something I was working on this morning. Like I said, I've had this one in my basket for a while, um, planning to do it. And uh, things just, you know, I just didn't get there yet. Uh, order, then see it made. Is that the best way to do it, Connie? I think that's kind of how I did it last time. Um, was that was I, uh, I, I listed them and then you know, I gave everybody a couple weeks and then we did them. So um, it will definitely be, uh, like I said, it'll be whimsical. Uh, so we'll have a lot of glitz and fun. And I've got the little uh, elf, um, I guess, uh, what's the word I want to say? The elf pick. <laughs> Thank you. I could not come up with that word. I can't believe how many times you get on here and you and your mind just absolutely goes blank. <laughs> you can't come up with your word. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, it's going to be real cute. So I'll probably get it ready and get it listed up here uh, in the next week or two because all my kits are gone and I wanted to you know try to keep a few little kits in my shop. Um, let's see. We're almost around. I said I know I did a lot of this ahead, um, but I, you know I wanted to save some of the fun stuff too. And if we wanted to make another bow, um, then you know I can make another bow. And I know it's still hot and it's busy. Um, you would hang it where we can enjoy it inside. Absolutely. You know what I do, Karen? <laughs> I have one hanging on the inside of my front door and the outside of my front door. Uh, because, you know, as you're leaving your house, it's fun to see something pretty on the door, too. Just as nice as it is when you come in. Uh, anybody got any questions so far about what we're doing? Love the Christmas sign. The one that Casey painted, the little mesa jar, I think it's darling. Um, I think that for that one, she painted me two. I could really see that one in a Christmas swag. Um, yes, you have one on the inside and the outside too. I know, Casey. We both are. We both love our wreaths. I guess that's why we make them because we love them. All right, that's our last piece in, and of course we're going to add some in the center, uh, just so that we have you know everything full in the center too. So um, I have cut a few more strips. About I think they were about 18, 20 inches long. So uh, we'll put that in the center. And first, though, well, let's go ahead and add these little rolls uh, just to give it a different hint of green. Um, there are so many different greens in the fall. So uh, I thought that I would put in, I've got these uh, little rolls with just the orange uh, and the green. And what I'm going to do is just, if you go in, if you have an elevated wreath, if you look in between your two your two rows, everywhere you have a crossbar, if you guys can see that crossbar, this is where I'm going to put the two rows. Now, I usually don't do three rows because then it just gives it way too much height. And really what I want to do is just pop a little bit more color right there. And then once I put that in, I just twist it right back here in between those. So that will give us just a little hint of color, a little different green, and a little bit of orange because I wanted all of those colors to be in here. So you just, like I say, you just kind of lift up and look for wherever you have that crossbar. And then just put this. And these little rolls are just orange and green mesh that I cut at, I think I cut them at about 12 inches and then just made the little curls. All right, so here, guys, I see the numbers coming back up. Come on, come on. We can do it because if I sell that, if I give away that one, I'll do the swag on a live and then whoever wins it can see what I do with it. Um, 
you can always, of course, do whatever you want to. But I have a good idea for a swag because I like um, bows on my swag, a lot of bows. So I like to keep the sign just a little bit smaller so it blends really good. Um, all right, so let's find the other one. And I'm working on a real cute fall swag uh, right now. And if y'all remind me, of course, I'll forget if you don't remind me. Um, I'll show it to you when I pull the camera up. All right, so once I, you like doing the rolls? Yes, it does. It makes it really pop. So see, now we're bringing just a little bit more of our fall colors by pulling in the orange and this lighter green um, because we have more of the olive green. And you see all kind of greens in the fall. So this just will give it a little more color uh, and not it won't add too much height to the wreath but it will add a little bit of height. So that's why I just do two. And then I try to, when I lay mine in, I'll show you what I do. I try not to let them um, puff it up too high, I guess is the word I wanna say. I don't wanna let them puff up too tall. So when I lay them in, I lay them in so they're spread out kind of like this. And then just make sure that these ruffles from below um, are not getting lost underneath like that one's underneath and so now you just have a little bit more pop of color uh, and a little bit more to work with when you go to add your different embellishments uh, you love the ribbons on this one yes Casey I do too uh, like I said I've been waiting, <laughs> waiting and waiting to do Casey's sign uh, because like I said when I first saw what I just knew I, I wanted that sign and I think it was uh, it was like listed somewhere else, but it was really big, and I wanted it to be smaller. So I just said, Katie, I need you to paint that for me. So hi, Annie, how are you? Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate that very much. Okay, so this is going to be big and full. I mean, real big and full. And I haven't even put the centerpieces in here yet. And then I'll lift it up and show it to you. All right, so what I've done is I went ahead and put two pipe cleaners that I tied together. And they go right across. You put them on your top bar, right by a crossbar, and run it across tight to this one. And then this gives you something to add some more ruffles to. Uh, when we add these other ruffles, it will help keep the woodland ruffles from sinking into your wreath because you know these will sink into the middle if you don't have a little something to kind of hold them up so that's why i like to do these hey judy how are you good to see you hi annie okay so i've just cut a couple of red pipe cleaners in half and i'm just gonna make some ruffles with the same color mesh that i've got and we're just going to put these in the center. And then we're going to start looking at the bow and our sign. I tell you, I have just, this amazing to me how fast this summer has gone. Uh, I've been watching my other two grandsons, not Casey's boys, but my son's two boys, uh, through the summer months and school starts next week. So it's just amazing to me how fast it has gone by. Um, so I'll have a little bit more time to get back to working on my, uh, my crafts and my designs. Uh, they're good boys, but they still, you know, it, I'm not used to having children in the house. Hi, Kim. How are you? Good to see you. All right. So let's put these ruffles in the center. And then I'm going to hold it up and let you take a look at what we got so far. So you just twist them down right onto that crossbar. And I take my ruffles and I spread them out a um, long way, this way, so that they can I can get the most coverage out of them. And then just lift these ruffles up. So again, that keeps it from sinking into the middle. You see what I'm saying, how it keeps it from sinking into the middle? So uh, that makes a huge difference. And then, uh, like I said, I take the ruffles and I put them in 
uh, this direction where they have the widest point. So I have one for the uh, each end and then one for the center. And that should be enough because this mesh is so full uh, that you won't need any more. There. I know yesterday when I was doing the pumpkin wreath on a live, uh, I was thinking, man, working with mesh is a whole lot easier than working with yarn. I don't know how many of y'all work with yarn, but I could. it's hard to keep it from getting tangled. Uh, I just kept getting it tangled up, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, I plan to do uh, a, a, a couple of different designs for the Dollar Tree candy canes, too, because those are so fun to make uh, for Christmas. So I think... I've ordered a case of those two and got notified that should be in sometime next week, I think. Okay, so let's let's pop this up and let y'all have a look at what we got so far. I think it's going to be really big and really full. So what do y'all think so far? Look how tall and pretty this is. Can any of y'all see how good this looks? What do y'all think? Let me know. Let me see some hearts if you like it so far. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty. Hey, Paw Paw. How are you? Good to see you. Okay. So, hey, Tammy. Y'all come on in. Let's uh, let's get this up. I've got a great giveaway. Um, so, here was the giveaway. If we get to 50 today, guys, I know it's tough here in the middle of the summer, but it's a matching ribbon and hand painted Merry Christmas sign on that mason jar. Um, okay, so here is my bow, or at least bow number one. So I've done, um, let's see, two loops of the green and then one loop of the red and then I did two loops of this burlap and I've got to find some more of this burlap because I love this burlap. Uh, two loops of that one, and then I did one loop of this little plaid that we have, and then one loop of the little trucks. Um, I really don't know, guys, if we're going to need two bows, but, um, I mean, you know, that's always the trickiest spot. Now, where'd I put Casey's sign? So, I'm going to have the uh, welcome fall. You know, we could put it... Uh, we could put the bow down here in the corner. We could put Casey's sign up towards the top. We could put another little bow on this side. Um, what do you guys think, my crafters? What do y'all think? And then, of course, I have these beautiful magnolia leaves uh, that I definitely know I want to pull in here because I just love the fall magnolia leaves. Aren't those pretty? Uh we could uh, definitely pop in another bow. I have two of these. Oh, thank you, Judy. Uh, let's see. I've got two of these fall. We could put one on each corner of the sign. This is just me thinking out loud, guys. Uh, the bow down here towards the bottom. Uh, we could make another little funky bow, maybe for up top. We could kind of put this catty, catty wonkus, or just get it way up top. Hmm. What do you guys think? What's some ideas? Uh, let's see. We could go back to putting the sign in the middle with the bow at the bottom. That way. Wish you were close so you could have private lessons on bow making. Oh, Tammy, you're so sweet. Uh, I love teaching. I would be more than happy to give you private lessons. Just head to the beach, Tammy. Come on down and go to the beach. <laughs> and then you'll go right through Alabama on your way. All right, so we could put the bow at the bottom. Katie's sign in the middle. And then we could do the little funky bow up top and put in our magnolia leaves up here and a magnolia leaf maybe down here ooh that looks good can you guys see that 
Can you see where I've got it placed? What do you think? Uh, you like the one now in the leaves, so not two bows? Um, I'm thinking another little bow, but, you know, I don't know, guys. Uh, I love these magnolia leaves. They give it so much. So if we leave it like this, it's going to kind of be bare up here. So uh, let's make a little funky bow. And then just say, when you never thought you'd say that one bow is enough. That's too funny. <laughs> oh, let's do, um, mm, Casey says one bow too. Not, not another bow. So nobody thinks we need two bows. Well, let me take a look. Uh, let's see. We could, if we don't do another bow, leave the leaves up here. Uh, we could always just add, oh, a little something like this up towards the top. I've got this kind of pretty little uh, fall. I don't know if that's like a fall wheat. Uh, we could add a little that up there. Um, maybe you guys are right. Maybe it doesn't need another two bows. Maybe just the one bow. All right, so let's take a bow. What do y'all think? Uh, you do whatever you want. Uh, scared of the beach right now? Yes, I, I know. The beach is a scary place right now. Um, you like the first placement, the prettiest? Let's see, how did I have it first? I had it the, um, I had it, let's see, I had her sign more up top, wasn't it? Or did I have the bow? Hmm. Could put the bow up this way. If we're not going to do two bows, we could put her sign coming through here, kind of at an angle. We could put the magnolia leaves up here and the magnolia leaves down this way. I forget which way I've had it. Sign to the left okay now i'm that would be right on my side right uh what do you think christelle you vote for another bow another bow tammy says okay uh let's try a funky bow hey i'll make it real small and if we don't think it needs it then we won't put it in so do y'all think the sign then in towards the middle and this bow up top up here is that kind of what y'all are leaning towards uh, let's see. Let me get out the Bodabra. I think this is going to be so pretty. What do y'all think? You think it's going to be pretty? I think Casey's sign just pops. It just makes it all look so perfect. Uh, let me find a pipe cleaner. Let's see. I'll probably need a relatively large pipe cleaner. Uh, go ahead and make another bow. I know you want to. <laughs> I know, I know. This is going to be just a funky bow. Uh, it's not going to be overpowering, I promise. I'll keep it real simple. Uh, so I'm going to put my uh, pipe cleaners in here and just kind of tuck it up under. And a funky bow, let's just do it to where... And I have completely, look at how big this thing is. I need to move it off to the side here. Let me get this big old wreath out of the way. Because I can't see my view over here to see if you guys can see. So we'll set that right there. Do you think the magnolia leaves are a good idea, guys? Do you like the magnolia leaves? Uh, I guess that you know farmhouse, you can have magnolia leaves, right? Um, okay, so let's do, with a funky bow, it's just one loop and a tail one loop and a tail and you just alternate them back and forth so um i have my bodabra on the 20. uh we're definitely going to keep it small because we could put it in the bottom corner um let's see what colors do i want to use well let's just put we'll just make about a seven inch tail we'll keep it real small and we'll make a four inch loop. 
Okay, now the funky bow, again, is just one loop. This funky bow, there's multiple kinds of funky bows. Uh, so we'll just put one tail. You like the wheat? I like the wheat, too. I think that could be a, a perfect little touch thrown in there. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but this time the tails are going to be on the other side. So I'm going to do a 7-inch tail and make a 4-inch loop. Let's see, I'm on the 20, I need to go to the 16, okay, right there, and then cut those tails, and let me go ahead and dovetail. Thank you, Debbie. You love the leaves? I do, too. I do, too. Uh, I have a, a custom order coming up, uh, one of my very good customers. Uh, she wants a... Um, magnolias and white sunflowers and Casey made a gorgeous sign do y'all want to see the sign she made it is so beautiful uh, I can't wait to make it um, I'm also going to um, I think I'm going to make a grapevine with just some uh, white sunflowers and uh, uh, I've seen it with the lamb's ear and the buffalo check and it's just so pretty so um you know your mama. <laughs> yep, she knows her mama. Okay, let's see. This tail, let's make it small. I promised I'd keep it smaller. So it's going to be six inches. And then the bow, the loop, we're going to come down to about three and a half. See, I told you I'm going to keep it small. It'll just be real simple. A real small little funky bow. Wheat does always look good. It does, because it is a fall. Uh, that's definitely a fall thing. I have another uh, bunch of, of wheat that looks more like wheat, too. So, you know, a couple of cute little pieces of that we could pop in there. All right, let's see. Let's pop in just a little bit of all, all of these colors, and I'm going to stop with the truck. I'm going to put the truck on the top. So let's do another little six-inch tail. Let me go ahead and dovetail. Now, this ribbon, as pretty as it is, uh, it does like to uh, ravel. So, what I'll have to do is singe the edges um, of that everywhere it's in the uh, um, in the wreath so that that doesn't ravel. Sometimes you get these, they're so pretty, and there's nothing you can do. Um, they do, they ravel. All right, we're going to go with, where's my loop? right about there of course now we have this little funky bow we can always add some wheat coming out of that little bow hey Denise good to see you today how's it going uh, so that might be a fun idea see here's my other stock of wheat it's a little bit more um, I guess more traditional wheat so, you know, we could pop a little bit of these coming out of this little little bow, and uh, that could be real pretty. That may be all that we needed to, you know, to finish it off. All right, so I'm going to put the last one on top, and that's my little truck. And let's see, our tails need to go this way. Let me go ahead and dovetail that. Now, this one um, has a pattern, so let me see if we just make it without putting it and twisting it if we can get it to keep the pattern the same. Well, I don't know that we can. Let's see, because if we twist it, my truck's going to be upside down. Do you think anybody will pay attention if we have an upside down truck? <laughs> it's going to be right side up in one spot and upside down in another, so that little truck will be riding around on its, on its roof. Okay. All right, that's big enough. That's big enough for that little funky bow. All righty, so I'm going to clean up some of my mess. I do appreciate y'all coming today so much. 
uh, y'all have are always so good. Now this bow is so tiny that I'm gonna lift it out this time and go ahead and just twist my pipe cleaner around it because it's not a big stack and you just want to hold your stack as tight as you can and then twist it. And I said this is a funky bow so it's not going to, um, I'm not even going to bring out the fluff box. You just want to pull your tails down, one up, one down. So one's going to go in the front, one's going to go in the back. Fluff up that little loop. And then over here you have the red tails. So pull one down, one back, and then fluff up your little green loop. And then we're going to pull these tails, one up, one down. Fluff up this little loop and we're going to move it out to this side and then the center loop will go right to here. So it kind of gives you uh, a lot more tails than you do uh, loops. But it's a fun way just to add a little bit more pop of your color into your ribbon. Let's move this one over here going this way. Okay, so now I can trim these tails a little bit shorter so we can keep it small. And I am thinking some wheat would be really cute um, coming out of the bow. Uh, you could put a little bit of wheat out of there. You could put a white pumpkin. Uh, you know, you could uh, put some more fall leaves. All right, trim this one down just a little bit. Your birthday is on the 27th. <laughs> you need to be a present. Amen. Tell you what, if it's your birthday, I will give you a 10% discount just to say happy birthday to you, Karen. How's that sound? Because I, I love my ladies. I love all y'all so much. Okay. Let's bring this back. And let's, so y'all think the placement so far is good? Should I go ahead and start uh, putting down in the bows? Did everybody like this placement? I think I like this placement. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just going to push the pipe cleaner right down through the mesh. Don't cover the mesh. Don't cover the mesh in ribbons. Oh, yes, definitely. I know. It's so pretty. All of the mesh is pretty. Uh, let me see if I can get this one down through here. It's been a little bit hard. And then we'll do it on this side. Yeah, I'm not going to over embellish it either, Kim. I don't want to put um, too much in it. Uh, you can't see the entire wreath, Connie. Let's see. See what should, let me see if I can, I need to just pull it up a little bit. Can you see it a little bit better? I know it's tough. I got a little tiny window here. Uh, but I will definitely show you uh, more again when I get a few things attached. Um, I'll back off and let you guys look at it again. Because I do love to have y'all's opinions. Mimi will always say, you ask, but then you do what you want to do. <laughs> so, she's usually right, too. I mean, I'll ask, and then I'll go, well, I think I want to do it this way. Uh, you know. All right, so I'm just going to put this bow in here. It's your anniversary on the 31st. 42 years. Congratulations, Debbie. That's awesome. Uh, okay, let's see. So we got that up there. I'm going to move these for just a second. And uh, I did kind of like Casey's sign kind of right here in the middle, uh, kind of off to an angle just a little bit. Do you guys see? Ah, can you see that now? Here's the bow up here. Uh, Casey's sign's kind of right here in the middle. So let's go ahead and try that. So what is everybody working on? Mimi's right. <laughs> you guys working on fall? You working on Christmas? 
uh, you working on Halloween. Uh, I guess it's that fun time of year now. We're going to get back into busy season, and then you got all kind of fun stuff to uh, to work on. Uh, you know, it's uh, I enjoyed working on the summer race so much, though, because uh, so much pretty colors that you can use in the summertime. Uh, I like all those bright hot pinks and the uh, turquoise blues and uh, all those different colors. All right, now I'm not going to put it in too tight because, you know, sometimes after the live's over, I come back in and I change my mind uh, about the placement. Sometimes it's not easy to see um, how everything looks uh, until you actually get it hung up on the door. And then you can tell so much more about how it looks. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way before I start knocking it all on the floor. Let's see, especially this bow, because I, I may not have that exactly where I want it yet, but let's we'll see. That's kind of going off to the angle, so I like that. What are y'all working on? Uh, you knew somehow you would get your two bows. <laughs> well, let's just say I was making I was making a bow to show you guys the bow. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you the bow. How to make a funky bow. Let's see if I can see how to get my sign hooked right now. I'm watching my time. I promise you guys I'm not going to keep you on here too much longer. Uh, but we are so close still all day. We've been so close uh, to that giveaway. It just, you know, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep working on that until we can give it away. Uh, if it's not going to be this week, maybe it will be next week. Uh, Wednesday, I will be live on my YouTube channel. I have one more pumpkin design that I wanted to share, uh, and it will be using a 21 inch roll of mesh and two pumpkin frames. And then next Sunday, I will be doing a pancake uh, Christmas wreath with Cece's wreath kit that I, I got from her. Okay, so here's where we are so far. I was thinking we could pop. Let's see. Let me take a look. We did this little bow down here. We could put this back up here. I'm just going to kind of push that down in there for the moment. And we don't have to use both of these sets of fall leaves. I mean the magnolia leaves. Uh, we don't have to overwhelm this wreath. We could put this little bow down here towards the bottom. And then take a couple of these little pieces of the wheat and have a few of these coming out of the bow. Because I do love, I do love the wheat too. Uh, so we could put a few little pieces of wheat coming out. Casey's signs good. I'm going to keep these these uh, these ribbons. I'll trim them later guys, but I'm going to keep them kind of going off to the side so we could put a few pieces of wheat coming out of the bow. Let me clip another. Let's get a little bit of this grass in here too. So we could put a few of these coming out of the bow. Uh, this also has these really uh, unique looking, I'm not sure, kind of like a stem. Uh, this is really kind of pretty, nice and fall looking. Uh, we could put this coming out of this bow up top. Maybe just kind of lay that in that way. Uh, let's see, what else do I have on here to work with? We have this other piece. Hey, Naomi, how are you? Uh, you're working on a fall pumpkin? Aren't those things fun to make? They are so much fun. All right, we got this pretty piece. We could put this piece. 
maybe coming up out of the bow this way. That gives us a little more color there. In fact, I think we could put one more piece coming down this way. Now, I am going to lift it up and show it to y'all here in just a second. I promise y'all. Uh, it's so hard for you guys to see. Uh, you agree. Love the wheat and the magnolia leaves. Hey, Shelly, good to see you. Uh, yeah, let's put one coming out of the bottom of the bow, the little baby bow. Uh, no, this is the big bow. Sorry, that's the big bow. The baby bow is down here. Uh, see, this little baby bow is not too big, guys. I don't think I went overboard too much on that. Uh, we always could take a leaf, uh, just one of the leaves. Uh, off and just put it down here. You know, just one or two magnolia leaves. Let's see how that would look. Let's see if this wire cutter will cut these in half. Both wheats love it. I do too. I, I like I like wheat in the fall and especially the farmhouse. Uh, all right, so we could put this down here coming out of this little bow just where it's just kind of peeking all right before i start gluing anything let me hold it up and you guys take a look and tell me what you think oops of course i have to do it real careful because stuff's not glued in Get it straight. Okay, can y'all see? We could also also add a little something else, maybe a little uh, another little piece of wheat or something coming out up here. Uh, but I mean, I don't know that 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 may just be all it needs. What do you guys think? Love it, love it. I think it's gorgeous. I mean, of course, I'm a little partial because I'm making it. Uh, welcome fall. I do love the pieces of wheat for sure. Okay, so do y'all think the two bows is a good idea? I can definitely add, um, you know, I think just these two little magnolia leaves at the bottom um, just to kind of carry on the uh, the theme, you know. I think that would be all that would need. So, see, the two little bows are good. Y'all think so? The two little bows, they worked out okay. Um I think so. I think it's worked out okay. <laughs> Thank y'all. Oh, I think this is going to be real pretty, and it is very full. So this is definitely going to fill up somebody's door. But wow, won't they be proud when their neighbors walk up and they see this? Of course, I know we all probably don't have a lot of neighbors right now walking up and, and visiting us these days, but I know they'll be able to see this one from the street. Um, I do kind of like this little piece of the grass kind of coming up on Casey's sign. Oh, y'all can't see it. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, it's just a little piece of the wheat grass that's coming up on Casey's sign. Uh, I like how that looks. And I really do love this piece right here. So, you know, I'll get all that glued in and fastened. Uh, I usually don't glue it until I look at it hanging off the door, guys. So even though I plugged in my glue gun, y'all know me, it's real tough to make the commitment to uh, to the glue until you're for sure. So do you think that we need one last question and then I'm gonna let y'all go because y'all are so wonderful. Uh, hold on. Okay, so do you think there's anything else that I need to do uh, up around the upper magnolia leaves? See if I, it's hard to get this thing all the way in here, guys. Uh, a little wheat by the top leaves. Okay, because I got more wheat. Uh, we definitely could put more wheat up there. Uh, let's see, I've got a whole nother piece right here. So we could, let's see. I love the wheat grass that comes with this wheat too. Let me get my better wire cutters. I do appreciate y'all. I love that y'all participate and you um, help me out. I think all of us love to have uh, everybody else help us and, you know, tell us kind of, you know, what looks good. All right, so we can put a little bit of wheat up here with the leaves. I do like that. Uh, let's do maybe one of, one more. All 
that makes it look like it's not just stuck up there without the rest of it together. So here we go. Oops. So there we go, guys. With the little pieces of weed up by the leaves, do you think that's an improvement? It's just so big I can't get it all the way up in the frame. <laughs> I have to back up way, 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 way back here uh, for you guys to see the whole thing. So I think uh, I think I'm happy with it. I think this is good. Uh, maybe a little wheat on or by the leaves. Okay, I did put a little bit. Can y'all see the wheat by the leaves up top? So I did plop in a little bit of wheat. Um, and I think the bow down here, I think that's a, I think that adds a lot to it. The bow at the bottom, and of course again, I mean I can bend these leaves until uh, it looks a little bit more natural and spread out, too. So I think I'm gonna, for the most part, call this one done. Um, and then let me show y'all what we're going to be making next Sunday. If I can find what I need, it's a mess. Uh, I've already made the bow. This is a kit. Uh, it's Lil Gnome's kit that I got from Cece. We'll be sure to put her links in uh, next week so y'all can see them. Uh, I went ahead and made the bow. And here is the little sign. Happy Holidays with the little gnomes that say ho, 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 ho. So there is the bow. This is going to be for a pancake wreath. So we're going to go from one extreme to the next. We did humongous today, and then next week we're going to do a pancake wreath. And here's some of the ribbons uh, that are in that cute little kit. So um, I'm definitely going to show you Cece's link because she really puts out some super cute um, wreath kits. Now she doesn't give you the mesh, but she gave you the sign and the ribbons. There were four ribbons. And then of course I went ahead and made the bow uh, ahead of time. I can't remember if we were doing a bow. She CC's our design coach in our group. Um, so we'll also uh, give you some more information about our group. But she makes just darling uh, little wreath kits. So we'll do that next Sunday. Uh, and then the only other thing I was going to show y'all was this big ginormous swag I'm working on. Everything is not glued in it yet. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a work in progress. Of course, everything's falling out of it as I bring it over. Uh, I just got so sidetracked with other stuff. But here's my uh, big fall swag. So um, I've just got to do some more final, final stuff for that. Let's see if I come way back here. This is going to be a nice size swag. And then it's got the two bows. Uh, two bows. One, uh, I've got a little bit of that denim blue uh, going in it to match the sign. Uh, and some sparkle. Because I think we can have some sparkle too. So this one really isn't farmhouse style. This is um, actually... Uh, you know, a little glitz. I wanted a little gold and a little sparkle in this one. So this fall sign, um, which kit? Connie, uh, the kit that I showed you next week, it's made by CC. Uh, I think she has sold all of that kit, but she'll have more kits in her shop. So um, I just wanted you guys to, to uh, see it. So I know if you're Wreath makers were always looking for cute signs and cute kits. Uh, and I was real pleased with what I got from Cece. So, now I'm way up here. Guys, I appreciate y'all so much. It's been so much fun. Uh, and I thank y'all. We didn't quite get there this week, but we'll get there next week. Uh, if we don't, we'll, we'll get there as we get closer to Christmas. Because this is definitely going to be so cute in a swag. Uh, I, can, I mean, I can, I can, I vision it, guys. I can vision this in a swag. So, um, uh, so if you can, jo join me on Wednesday mornings. Uh, my YouTube live is at 9.45 a.m. in the morning, central time. Uh, we're going to do one more pumpkin design with a Dollar Tree pumpkin frames. And then next Sunday, at 2 central time, we will do Cece's kit in a pancake wreath. So it, I know it's going to be darling. I know it's going to turn out great. 
uh, again, she is the uh, the uh, design coach in my group. Uh, great group to be a part of. Uh, I'll get her to be on the live so uh, she can, you know, put the links in for our group too. So um, I guess that's it, guys. If there's a, if y'all have anything else, again, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all being here today. Denise, you bought that kit too. I know it's darling. Um, so we'll promote CC a little bit next week. Um, what did I use as the frame on my swag? It's actually, um, it is a, uh, uh, it's not the evergreen swag. It is the, uh, oh, the rustic, the, 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 the beige, kind of like, uh, fall colored. I don't, I don't know what exactly to, to call it. Um, more like a burlap color, uh, teardrop swag and it's not I don't buy the huge swags I think it's probably 24 inches maybe and then I just can extend it with the bows to where it looks about 28 inches long when I get through with them so uh, you know we'll we'll do another swag I did a flamingo swag um, this summer we'll definitely do a Christmas swag um, on a live together okay guys you would like to see just a winter wreath, not Christmas theme. Oh, I did some of those last year. Um, yes, I, I, I can do that, Tammy. Anything else anybody wants? Thank you. Y'all have a blessed day. Just drop me a note. Tell me something you'd like to see. Uh, and I'll try to, uh, you know, make some stuff and give y'all some inspiration, I hope. So, uh, again, this big giant wreath. Uh, I'll, I'll post pictures of it when I get everything glued on it, but it is already um, listed in my Etsy shop, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you Wednesday, I hope. If not Wednesday, I'll see y'all uh, next Sunday. God bless you. I love y'all, and please be safe.